Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Tony Pescatori. He's with the University of Kentucky Extension Poultry Scientist there. Good morning. Good morning. Tony. Now Tony, we usually talk about raising chickens for eggs or meats, but today we're going to switch our focus a little bit and talk about turkey production. A lot of people will have an interest in turkeys. One of the things as a, a trend right now is heritage turkeys. Mm -hmm. The slow growing, more flavorful or tougher turkeys and you got to remember a turkey is one of the few birds that has its own holiday. That's exactly true. And I was going to ask you that. Is the, is the marketing all geared toward Thanksgiving? Most of the people that raise turkeys are geared for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And they are producing a heritage whole bird for that market. And you know, when we talk about grow out for broilers and different things like that, how long of a time frame is it for grow out for these heritage birds? Somewhere, it could be as much as 20 weeks for them. Okay. And they don't get as big as a commercial strain of uh, turkeys, but they, they get uh, to be a, a large bird and they can mand a very a lucrative price. However, one of the problems we're having now with the limited amount of processing we have in the state most of the processing capacity is booked up those two weeks before Thanksgiving mm -hmm. because people are trying to process their birds for Thanksgiving or they're processing later on to go for Christmas. And, you know, I've seen a lot of those where they're, they're marketing those birds for turkeys, but the turkeys for Thanksgiving, but you have to order well in advance to be able to secure that bird. Right. There, there is a limited supply. There is a large or a, a lucrative market of people that want that, and they uh, can take a reservation for those birds. But when we start talking about these birds, you have to remember that the poult, which is the baby turkey, is very expensive. They can be very costly. So when you start planning uh, to do this, you have to remember it's going to be about five months before you get any return on your investment. So you're going to have a large investment in poults, they're going to eat a lot of feed, so you have to have that feed investment and that poult investment and any other labor that you have into it or the facilities or the equipment that you have purchased. Well, let's talk about the facilities just a little bit because they're a larger bird. I would assume that they need more square foot than a, a chicken would. Right. Well, they're, they're going to use somewhere between four and a half to five feet in a small flock situation with a heritage bird, and you'd need even more space with a commercial bird. But they also re require higher protein feed, mm -hmm. especially when you start out. You're talking a diet that's probably 28% protein for the starter diet, and then slowly stepping down. So they require more protein, that which is a much more expensive feed than a, tur a chicken starter, which would be somewhere around 20 or 22% protein. And sometimes we've heard people having a hard time sourcing that feed because it's not available in a lot of your local farm stores. There's more and more of the different feeds available at our bigger farm stores, but they, it is a problem to get a turkey starter. And the other thing that's happening is there's very few pharmaceutical products or preventatives for turkeys anymore. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have been taken off the market. So when we do have a disease problem, it can be very devastating because there are no alternatives. And what are, the, are there diseases with turkeys similar to the ones in chickens or do they have some that are unique? Well, the one we are really concerned about, you, many times people hear that they're not supposed to raise chickens and turkeys together. And the reason for it is a disease called blackhead. It's a protozoan disease. And the cecal worm, which is a worm that chickens and turkeys can get, harbor that, that protozoan. Well, chickens are pretty much resistant to uh, that pro protozoan, but turkeys are not. So if they're living together, they can spread from the chicken to the turkeys, and it can be very devastating. All right, so definitely something to keep in mind. But do we have resources on turkey production? We have resources on our website in order to uh, look at turkey production and a lot of the things that we have in regards to general housing also applies to turkey. All right, and since you mentioned it's five months, it might be too late now, but it might be something that you consider for next year. Appreciate the information, and if you have questions, make sure to contact your local Extension office. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.